Growing up, my mum always wore a necklace made from an inner section of a shell. For me, it was special and had a lot of memories tied to it. But sadly, recently it broke. So I'm on a mission to recreate it out of something much stronger that will last a long time. And I'm gonna try to do it without her knowing and surprise her later on. First, I'm gonna try a sand pack mold to get the shape. Now I've got to drive to get to that shell. So the house is locked, but someone still might be home. All right, I don't think they're home, and here's the shell here. So I'm going to try to get a little pressing in and test that out. I'm going to try and press this in lightly without cracking it further. So I had to take it out of the mould without holding the camera because I was going to cave in the sand otherwise, but I've got the basic outline. Right, first try, melting the metal straight into the side. Not sure how this will go. Ah, not well. All right, day two. And here's a different method, tracing the shell then transferring that onto a wax block to carve out. Where better to do it than on the beach? In this little bag, I brought down my little sketch, a pencil, and some carving wax. So, I'm going to try to get this onto there. Once I've traced this out onto here, I'll carve this into this shape, and then be able to use this to mould. Now that I've got that on both sides, I'm going to use that one there to place it on a block. Oh, well now the basic shape's on. I'll finish that off at home and go for a dip, I reckon. Right, so I'm going to set up shop here for a little bit. I'm going to do the little carve out. So, get out my little stuff from the beach for wax. Now before I smudge it too much and lose the shape, I'm going to go over my outline with some little carving tools. Hey. This marked through this side here. We'll cut that in half and just use that top half. It will still be thicker but, but that's good for moulding. Leave a little bit more chunk on it so it allows for any discrepancies and stuff ups. Which I'm sure there will be. So I've cut a good bit of the depth now. 
a little plate. I'm just going to try and cut around the outline now and get rid of that excess. So I just finished carving out both sides now. So. so I've got the little mould made up. I'll get these put into this casing, press that in. So now I've got this one half pressed in, I'm going to put this top casing on, screw that down and then pack the other half of the sand in and I'll open back up, put in the breather holes and carve out the funnel area at the top there and then I can start melting down the brass. I'm going to use brass because my mum likes brass and gold as the colours that she likes to wear. halves of my mould. Next section is to put in my breather holes so that once it's poured in the air's got somewhere to go and it doesn't suffocate itself and then a little funnel to be cut out the top there so it can be poured down from the top. Place these back together gently. Alright, as you can see there, there's a little funnel hole breathers on both sides Exactly, it's exactly what I wanted. So there are the little breather holes in the bottom here. That's the funnel going in obviously, forward like, like that. And now I've just got to cut all these breathers off, cut the top off, and then cut out the middle section.
down my locating holes, which uh, should be big enough now for me to get my Dremel bits in and cut around and start chiseling out these sections. Then doing a little bit of filing, using the power tools a little bit just to get that bulk out and I'll start prettying it up. Good little idea for getting in all the little crevices of this piece. Right, so I brought this over here. I'm going to start with a bit of sandpaper over that file. I'm going to start uh, sanding it down. I've already started at the bottom there. Alright, final stages. Give her a bit of a polish. Here it is. Know the weather will get colder that it can always be spring and when I pushed you in a stroll you were looking up singing life like a church hymn you are gonna find your place child of that much I know I'm sure keep on laughing at the rain I guess isn't that the place to start? Someday you will be stronger than you are now But you will not know everything When the water's spilling over the bow You'll still let me in the way You gotta get up to get down, kid Gotta get down to get up again 